Let's go! Welcome everybody to part 14 of Doki Doki Love and Literature. If you noticed, uh, I shaved my beard. Let me know how you feel about it, I guess, because, uh, god damn do I feel naked. But if this is your first time tuning in, uh, well I had a beard before and now I shaved it. If you are not caught up with the other parts, because, you know, this is part 14, go down below, click on my channel name. Click the videos tab, go check out the other videos, catch up, get up the snuff, you know what I'm saying? But uh, for those of you that just want a little recap, uh, we are currently reading Parfait Girls with Natsuki. This is not vanilla Doki Doki Literature Club, but that is the current act we are in right now. About two seconds ago though, uh, Suri was giving us a deadpan stare. Act a little Yandere action for sure. So I don't know if that's going to develop into something else but I am a little bit on edge. For now, let's get up close and personal with Natsuki and see how that goes. You know, deal with one thing at a time. Um, okay. Uh, 15, 20, 30 minutes passed. I finished the volume fairly quickly and end up discussing my thoughts with Natsuki afterwards. It was nice, mostly because she was very passionate about the series and it's always fun talking to people who have a deep love for their art. Very refreshing, sharp contrast from the usual faceless nobody wannabe fans I find on internet comment sections. You know, that's one thing that I've always been very thankful for. Whenever I've wanted to like share my thoughts and opinions uh, on anime or mediums, like any type of medium I watch or consume, I always have somebody I can like talk to about that I know. Feels good, man. Really must suck if you have nobody to talk to anime or anything about, you know? It's nice to share those experiences with somebody that you also care about. I watch as the hands of the clock slowly reach towards a five o'clock. On cue, Monica's phone starts buzzing an alarm, which she quickly grabbed the shut off. She stood up, her laptop bag and regular bag slung on her shoulders. Well, that's the bell. Thanks for showing up today, everyone. Now I want everybody to start thinking about what you're gonna do for work on some or for work tomorrow. Uh, because that's all you're going to be doing next meeting. Everybody nodded in acknowledgement and started to grab their things. I stood up and dusted myself off. I stuck my hand out to Natsuki, who gingerly grabbed it and boosted herself up. Let's go, a little hand-to-hand -hand action. She che her cheeks were hot, and I couldn't help but smile. Oh, crap, Rar! Monica shouted my name from the back of the room. I still need to add you to the group chat, remember? I reached down and grabbed my bag and walked over to where Monica was. That transition felt shorter that time. Suri was getting busy. Um, Suri was busy getting her purse together. I pulled my messaging app and handed Monica my unlocked phone, who quickly started tapping away. A few beats, she texted or she handed it back, and I felt my phone start to buzz from the new notifications. Now, I mean. I Call me on edge, but I feel like Monica Siori, maybe there might be some collusion. Maybe Monica's acting on her own, but the past two episodes, my friends, Monica has been doing a little, uh, a little programming, they call it. A little bit of extra curricular ones and zeros, you know what I'm saying? She had a private meeting with Siori that nobody else could uh, tune into and talk about. Interesting, to say the least. I just don't know if I trust her handling my phone. That's all I'm saying. Natsuki drifted away from me and met up with Siori, who was already waiting to leave by the door. They both turned and smiled at me. Text me whenever you want to get home, uh, so we can start planning a way <laughs> Text me whenever you get home, so we can start planning uh, right away, okay? Alright. I start to unbutton my blazer. The weather outside looked cooler than it did earlier, and I was hoping to enjoy a nice breeze or two. I folded my blazer over my arm. And start reading the next volume so we can get back to it faster. Then we can start reading more on Sunday. Th that's if, if, if you want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I started to undo my tie as well. Sure, I waited patiently for Natsuki to finish talking before speaking. Rar, are you still going to walk home with me? I couldn't help but detect a hint of desperation in her voice. Did she think I was going to ditch her for Natsuki? 
I wouldn't do that. Well, if the opportunity came, might, but you know, it didn't. So, I mean, of course not, Siori, of course not. You silly girl. You just... Pat, Pat Natsuki said, Pat, 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 Pat. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. You thought I was gonna ditch you? No, no, just double checking. <laughs> Uh, Natsuki gave a curious look to Siori, but said nothing. Monica swiped her bag off the chair and dangled a pair of keys in her hand. Uh, ready to leave? We all stepped outside and went our separate ways. Where the fuck's Yuri? Hello? I j <laughs> What? Uh, Natsuki tags with Monica and Siori walking with- Am I missing something? I swear to God, the, the Yuri's just not existing right now? Am I about to get freaking shanked in the back, my friends? Uh, again, I feel like there might be some kind of elaborate ruse here. I don't know where this is gonna go, man. Uh, Natsuki tagging along with Monika and Siori, walking me uh, the opposite way down the hall. Bye, guys. Siori and I turned and waved. Natsuki had her headphones already in and almost didn't notice, but she turned and waved goodbye at the last second. We locked eyes for a moment. Oh, text me, she mouthed. Dude, let's freaking go. I mean, that that is that is exactly what I'm looking for. That's exactly what we're talking about here. We're a ball player, and we're in the game, my friends. The walk home was rather uneventful. The whole stroll back, uh, I felt tired out. Uh, <laughs> sometimes just the way I say shit is so weird. Uh, the whole show back, I tried to figure out how Siori was feeling. Even so, she still seemed to be her usual bright self, talking about her plans for the festival and how excited she was for the free food we were going to serve. Uh, eventually I tried giving up. I walked Siori to her door, hugged her goodbye, and made my way home. By the time I got home, sunset was beginning to streak across the sky. It looked beautiful. I unlocked the door. As expected, the lights were dimmed, and something was brewing on the stovetop. I glanced down in the pot. It looked like shabu shabu, a nice water-based meat and vegetable dish. I hungrily grabbed the empty bowl and labeled, ladled some of the dish into the bowl. I snatched another Ramune soda. God, do I love those things and hurriedly uh, took everything upstairs. I pushed open, why is there no music? It's freaking me the fuck out, okay? <laughs> I don't know, my friends, I, I don't know. Again, I just, I'm getting bad vibes all of a sudden. This, this manga, this, what? This game has been a lot of sunshines, flowers, lollipops, and roses, and I just, I don't know, man. A lot of the girls are giving me some bad vibes besides Natsuki. I think they all might be just a little jelly. As we know, because they all are in love with us. I pushed open the, dude, if they all turn to Yandere's, dude, I'm telling you. I mean, I got vibes from that last episode as well. Okay, I just, stop, stop theorycrafting, Rar. Just play the goddamn game. I pushed open the door with my foot and set my bag um, down at the foot of my bed. I sat down in my chair, gently placing my meal onto the desk. I propped my legs up and took a swig of my soda. Digging into my pocket, I pulled out my phone and tapped to my music playlist. Ah, the word we're, we're cranking her on. As I watched, steam waft from my bowl. Ooh, yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I see the steam waft from my dinner uh, dish. My mind wandered back to the literature club group chat. I was anxious to see if my name came up anywhere. I opened up the messaging app and tapped to the group, accurately named the literature club with a flower and a book emoji. I took a quick glance at the member list. Monica was listed as admin with Siori as moderator. What, we have, we have admins and moderators here? I mean, I guess if we got to kick out fucking Yuri and Natsuki or me if we go rogue, I don't know, man. Yuri and Natsuki were regular members. This feels like a, like a, a, like a, like a hierarchy, like a power stance that doesn't need to exist in this group chat. Siri's photo was a was a pan of glazed cinnamon buns. I mean, okay, I guess we're expecting the club to grow to a bigger size. I guess that makes sense. Siri's photo was a, a pan of glazed cinnamon buns. <laughs> Username Happy Thoughts with a sun emoji. 
Yuri's photo with a stack was a stack of books. Um, their binders showing off various titles. Oh shit! I skipped the username. Wait, we got we got to see what her username was. Yuki Katagiri Seven. All right. Uh, Natsuki's picture was a chibi cat against a polka dot background. Username Manga is lit. <laughs> Monia's photo was a selfie of her doing a peace sign, dressed in summer clothing, posing outside what looked like Tokyo Tower. Username Lil Moni X3 baby. I scrolled through the previous chat logs. The last message uh, messages were from the morning with Yuri declaring that she would be absent for the day. Okay, why was I never notified about that? <laughs> I guess that's why I really need to be in this group chat. They don't tell me anything otherwise. And acknowledgments for the rest of the club. <clears throat> Except me. Swiping up from the earliest messages seemed to date back as far as a few months. How long has everyone known each other? I kept thinking to myself as I read a few of them. The chats were nothing in, of particular interest to anyone but the club. Uh, it was mostly just general conversation about the club and weekend activities. <clears throat> she seemed social. Okay. Uh, there were also a few memes here and there. I kept swiping through the chat, searching for my name. Eventually, I found it. Lil Moni. So who's the person you want to bring to the club? Happy thoughts. Just someone I know, smiley face. <laughs> Is... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is it a boy? Winky face. See, now this is actually really good added context to the base game. This is some insider information you would love to know. Because, you know, it's mentioned that, you know, this is kind of how things got approached with inviting me to the club and getting me there. I, I think this is very cute to read. Suri, don't be a mood killer. Boys are trouble. It wouldn't be terrible if there was a new member. Even if they were male, literature should be open to everyone and anyone, Natsuki. I know I should probably do voices for this. Uh, yeah, whatever. Hmm. <laughs> so who is it? Well, his name's Rar, and he's been one of my best friends since we were kids. He really means a lot to me, and I've been trying to convince him to go. Oh, he sounds nice. I think I had Rar in one of my classes. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get him uh, to go on Monday. Can you make cupcakes, Natsuki? Only if you pay me. Do you take hugs as payment? I looked up. The smell of shabu shabu wafted into my nose, distracting me from the reading. I set my phone down and eagerly began to dig in my meal. The we are just getting to the juicy part though. As I ate, I mean, literally we are getting to the juicy part of the food now though as well, I guess. Uh, I remember that I still had to text a uh, certain someone. Using my free hand, I picked up my phone back up and began to type in uh, Natsuki's number. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, all right. I'm also fine by that. Oh, hmm. This doesn't uh, really... <laughs> this doesn't really look great, uh, if I had to guess. Let's see what we're working with here, kids. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I actually... Th th I'm, I'm placed perfectly this time. Okay. Like the uh, the overlay. Daydreaming. I wish I could be anywhere with you. I see the colors shining bright with your feathers. We could fly away to heaven. I could see someday into the sparkling abyss and light. Running with your flashlight, racing you, taking flight. To fly on your feathers. All right now could be better if I wasn't. Oh, if I wasn't. If I wasn't here. Uh, well, even though this is probably going to be the shortest episode that we have, I mean, I feel like how are we not going to end it here? So, sorry for a little bit of a shorter one this time. We are jumping into Chapter 7 Storm Clouds. That means we have Chapter 7, 8, 9, and 10 left. Four more chapters. Also, this is how I do the number four, by the way very freaking weird i think maybe no 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 yes because most people do four like this yeah no no i always do i do and i do this for three i'm I'm sorry i'm jumping all over the place i do i always do this for four i always 
why am I rambling about something like this? Okay, but I always do three like this. This is probably the weirdest fucking one. Or, th or this. This is also how I do three. Never this. This is the weirdest way to do three for me. It's, it's, it's not comfortable. With my thumb, I gotta reach all the way over to the pinky. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Just, just do one of the closer ones, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I, I should stop rambling. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe and like the video if you haven't yet. Uh, live stream on Twitch every day, by the way, pretty much, except Mondays, maybe except Fridays as well. But all other days, I will be streaming, and I stream for hours and hours on end. So if you're looking for more content of yours truly, your boy Rar, tune into one of those. Link to my Twitch channel will be in the description. Thank you for coming by, everybody, today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for Chapter 7, Storm Clouds. Yikes. Have a damn good one and take care.